All right, let's go ahead and start putting things together here. So uh, we already have this actions widget here, which is inside of our app bar. And we said we want to be able to add this sandwich icon menu bar there. New icon button, right? So it requires an icon and then we pass the on pressed. Okay, so for our icon here, let me go ahead and put it all on a new line here. So, okay, so for our icon, I'm going to say new icon, and then I'm going to pass icons, and I'm going to go and find the menu icon. Look at that, and you can see we should have their menu icon. So if we look at hot reload here, and we should see there is our icon. Okay, it's looking really good. What about making this red? Maybe that would look good too. Here, I said white, I'm going to say red. See how that's going to look. There we go. Looks nice. I love it. I love it. Okay, so now there's no action happening here because on press we have no. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and pass um, something, say print. Bug is gonna say hey. The moment you do that, you notice now it's highlighted. You tap, you have that very nice effect there. Very cool. And of course, it's saying hey. Okay, now it's starting to look real good. If we wanted to put this in the middle, right? You know how to do that. We can go back here. I'm gonna say center to true. And all of a sudden, climatic is indeed in the middle. So the next thing we're going to do is add a background image because we want our app to look like this, right? So we have a background image which will contain this entire, this background image like this. Now to properly do this, you notice that we are going to be, we want to put stuff, we want to put other widgets on top of the background. Okay, so we have this widget here, text, have this other image and about four other texts there. So to make it simpler for us, we are going to put actually as the parent tree widget, we're going to put a stack, right? Stack will then allow us to stack things on top and resizing things and do whatever we want. So it gives us that flexibility. Down here, say body. I am going to say new stack like this, okay? And inside of new stack, I'm going to say for the children, the first thing I'm going to add is a new center as such. And for the child, I'm going to just put the, the new image, one image from the assets. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and say is under images forward slash. I'm going to say umbrella dot PNG save. And look at that. Okay, there we go. So we have our umbrella. But you notice we have some issues here because of the size of this umbrella here. Um, we have some bleeding happening or we have some gaps to the left and right. Let's just fix that. To fix that for now, it's fairly simple. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually inside of our child here, our image, I'm going to go ahead and say width. And I'm just going to say I want the width to be about 490. Right, that way it's going to be 490 wide, which is going to be a little bit over the screen. Now, you won't see anything here because now that we have said that this child here, this new image widget, it's going to be 490. We want to make sure that we say fit, and we're going to pass a box object here, and I want it to fill. Okay, if we save, go back, now you notice that everything is looking great. Notice if we change this to something smaller, it's also going to still look great. Now, just to make sure that everything is great, I'm going to go ahead and say hi here. I'm going to say about 1200 because I want to make sure that even if the screen is longer, such as in on iOS and so forth, I want it to still fill the whole screen. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new container. I'm going to say new container as such. We're using container because they're flexible, okay? And I'm going to say child, and I'm going to put a new text like that. And what I want this to say, I want this to be, say, for instance, Spokane as the city, okay? So if you save, let's take a look. 
Say it's Spokane here, it's tiny and it's dark. So what I want, I want this to be to the right here. Well, simply what I can do, um, because I know I'm inside of a container, I can align things. I can say alignment. I can say I want this to be center, or I can say I want this to be top right. Look at this. And there we go, it's top right over there. What if I want to make sure that this moves a little bit to the left? Well, I can actually use another property here called margin. Now this margin here, I'm going to pass the constant here called edge set in sets. The one I'm going to use to show you is the from LTRB. What does LTRB means? Well, that means from left, top, right, bottom. So we can actually put all of these paddings, if you will, the margin from the top, like from the top of the screen, what is the margin I want, or left, right, and bottom. So what I really want to do here, for the left, I don't want anything, let's say 0, 0.0. Remember, it has to be doubles always. Uh, from top, I'm going to just say 10.9, because I just can't. Now, from right, this is what I want, because I want to make sure that this is not too to the right, right? We'll move this a little bit to the left. So that's where I'm going to probably say about 20.9. We can always adjust. And bottom, I'm going to say zero. Let's see. Aha, you see? It moved. All right? Very nice. So let's go ahead and do some styling here. So for styling, always goes inside of our text here. I'm going to say style. Now, here's another thing. Because everything is an object here, right? Everything is an object. Because in Flutter, everything is an object. Whenever we have a chance to see, whenever we find something that we, we can refactor, we should take advantage of it. Style is one of those things that we need to style everything all the time. So I could go ahead and say new style, like we all text style that is, and pass all the properties. But the other thing I can do is actually create a, a method or function that will return this widget. This is indeed an, a widget, an object. Okay, so in this case here, this new text style, I can pass this object here, right? So I can create this object separately. So I'm going to go ahead here and say, text style type, I'm going to call this city style. Look at this, and I can return a new text style. And then I can pass all of these properties, right? So the property I want for this particular one, I can say color, it's going to be colors, I want it to be white can pass font size to about 22.9. I can pass the font style. I want this to be italic. Okay, that's great. And look at that, I can just call this style here, just pass it all there. And there we go. You see how succinct this is now? We don't have to have all that stuff. And you notice that we can do the same thing for anything else we want. We, uh, and as we progress, of course, we will modularize everything, make everything uh, separate that way. Everything is well organized. But you see, slowly, you can do all these small things that really make a difference. Okay, so now if we go ahead and save, hot reload, look at that. Spokane looks really nice. All right, so we're able here to add our button or our sandwich uh, button here at the top of our app bar. And then we have our text and we have our background. So we're getting there, folks. In the next video, we'll continue putting together um, the icon in the middle and other texts here in the middle. That way, we're going to be ready to start pulling data from our API. All right, perfect. Good job, folks. I'll see you in the next video.